Hey guys, what's up? I'm Morgan. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Today I'm going to be doing a mini tutorial on how you guys can turn a basic bodice um, pattern into whatever type of swimsuit that you want. And I'm doing this because I get a lot of questions about pattern making. And to be honest, a lot of people don't like pattern making. So I found an easier alternative for you guys if you are into the cut and sew um, route when it comes to your designs. This actually will work for anything. It won't just work for swimwear. It works for lingerie. It'll work for shorts or skirts or dresses or whatever. You just have to get creative and add to the patterns. But I did find someone on um, Etsy that had a pattern and I like to test the patterns out before I bring them here to you guys just so I can give a good recommendation. And the, the girl that did these patterns, she has them um, readily available. They're available for download. They're instant download off of Etsy. And um, I'll show you guys the programs or whatever that I use to just download the size that I actually need rather than having to constantly cut out from extra small to extra large or whatever. So um, if this sounds like something you're interested in, please, please, please keep on watching. <laughs> you are going to need a couple of supplies uh, the first one is definitely going to be the actual pattern this is the pattern that I downloaded from um, Etsy and this is just a basic basic like one uh, bodice type thing or a bodysuit type of pattern but she also has the short sleeve I mean the long sleeve available as well so you get one sleeve pattern you get a front pattern and a back pattern for a basic bodice now this one was a double pattern so it did come with shorts as well so this is the same one more uh, leotard style where it has the higher cut and this one is the short like more of a um, short uh, type of cut so it has a lower cut on there so we're gonna be doing the tutorial with the bodice that is the one that looks more like the swimsuit like a one-piece swimsuit because I can show you guys better on here than the other one on how to manipulate these patterns to turn it into whatever type of style that you want so you're gonna need the pattern um, I'm gonna link it down below in the description box so you'll know exactly which one it is to download you're gonna need some type top <laughs> some type of marker or pencil or pen or whatever I'm gonna be using this marker I should change it this is a permanent marker I'm just gonna get a different marker but I'm gonna be using a marker and you're gonna need a pair of scissors you're gonna need some sort of craft paper and you're also going to need some tracing paper. I don't have the tracing paper out, but you're going to need some, some tracing paper. Um, I'm going to link all of my supplies, you guys, that I show you guys in these tutorials are linked down in my Amazon shop. So if you go to my Amazon shop, you will see everything that I use from my sewing supplies down to all the little bitty things that I use for like my tech, my filming, all that stuff is linked in my Amazon shop. So just check the link out below. Now the craft paper roll is so you can copy on top of the pattern the tracing paper we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use it and also before I go on um, in my Amazon shop you will see the tracing paper roll is just like this okay it's long just like this one and it rolls out just so you don't have to constantly keep on using like pieces of tracing paper that comes in like those little flip books that you have when you were in school so you don't have to keep on using those. I ran out of my tracing paper, so I'm going to show you guys with actual tracing blocks. Instead, tracing paper, you know, squares, but it works the same way. So I advise you to get the tracing paper roll rather than short square pieces of tracing paper. It'll save you so much time in the long run. So now that we have our supply list, let's get to work. So the first thing you want to do is get your pattern. We're not going to be using the sleeve in this pattern. So if you download this pattern, um, you can use the sleeve if you want for, you know, a design, but for this tutorial, we're not going to be using this. So this is what the sleeve actually looks like right here. And you can just set it aside. You see all of the patterns that she has, you guys, is marked. So this one is marked front bodice block. Okay. And this is the one that is good for four-way stretch, uh, knitted fabrics or four-way stretch fabrics. And I always use four-way stretch fabrics for my swimwear. So this is perfect for me. For if I wanted to do this now for my swimsuits I should make a disclaimer I do have my own um, 
bodice blocks i'm showing you guys this one because it's easier to go off of if you can just easily download it because mine isn't downloadable but um i paired it up with mine and the measurements are pretty pretty close um and once you get the hang of using these um, blocks you'll be able to do your own patterns so this is what the front looks like here you have the neckline right here you have the shoulder seam you have the arm line for it goes from shoulder to armpit right here this is your waist seam right here and this is the crotch seam that goes all the way down and it goes across now this is the halfway they only show you do half because you only need half and you see the cf right here stands for center front and this is usually where you will be cutting on the fold so the center front is usually where you'll be cutting on the fold because if you were to double this and open it it will be one full front pattern and so it's the same thing for the back as well so you see the back is just like the front except for the back has more of a curved bottom for the butt so the difference from the front and the back i'm gonna show you right here see like the front is high this is the front on the side it's more high cut and the back is not as high cut because it's made for you know your butt you don't want your bikini line as high as the butt unless you're making a high cut swimsuit and then you'll manipulate it but that's what we're doing here um on her patterns as well you'll see these marks and it goes from extra small to a 3xl and you'll know exactly which pattern you're cutting because they're all marked differently with different types of lines in their different colors this one i just cut out the large block because it's easier for me to use a large in size down i could have even went to an xl in size down for my other patterns but i usually start off with a large or an extra large and i can, it's easier to grade down because you can't grade up and add fabric so go go to a larger size if you're going to be practicing a lot and then grade it down i'm going to get that out of the way and we're going to take our craft paper here and we're going to roll it out just a bit and you can see we're going to start with the front i'm only going to be showing you guys the example on the front because i figure once you see the front you'll know exactly what to do on the back for your designs but when you have your front pattern like i said you want to cut it on the fold right so you want to make sure one that this is long enough so you can see here i'm gonna try to get you guys a better view sorry hold on i think that's pretty good so you can see here that the pattern fits inside of the craft paper right so what we want to do is move this out of the way for a second we're going to fold it and when you fold it you just want to crease it down right so just fold it and crease it just like that i'm going to actually turn this the long way that's better and you want to take your pattern and lay it directly on the fold let me get some pattern weights really quick see i have the craft paper is on the fold as you can see this is the fold line right here let's fold it down and all i did was place the pattern block on top of here right so i made it to where it's even with the fold the center front line is even with the fold mark and then i just placed some pattern weights on top of here to hold it down now the next step you want to do is take your pencil marker or whatever it is you're going to use and legit just trace the entire pattern right just trace the entire large pattern
want to save yourself some time, you can just grab your back bodice block and do the exact same thing that you did with this one. So you already have it um, cut out and everything. So you can set that aside. Okay, so once you remove this and once you have everything cut open, you'll notice that you can check it if you want. Mine is pretty accurate. So laying it on top of here, everything lines up, everything is even. So I'm not going to need this one anymore. And you should mark it. You should mark it while you have it out just so you don't um, forget. So on this one, I'm just going to put front um, bodice. And I'm going to put full piece, full or cut on half, cut on fold, I'm sorry. Cut on fold. Oh, size large as well. So put whatever size that you have. As you can see here, you have a full open bodice now. You have a full block. And what you have here, you can still see the center front line as well. So make sure you, when you fold it and have actually pressed down to crease it so you know it's the center front. You can also mark center front on here. Um, but you have the crotch line, both um, waist, the arm openings, the shoulders, and the neckline so what you want to do now is grab some tracing paper and i'll show you exactly how you can turn this into any type of bikini pattern that you want this is a size large okay so on this size large clearly this is the crotch line this is the mid middle like of the crotch okay like all the way down crotch this is going to be where it hits you above your um hip right here in these corners this is right above that hip line so it's not super high up and this is just the basic line this is not high cut this is just your basic standard bodice um block so what you want to do in order to manipulate this pattern is you take this tracing paper right now i'm only going to do this on the half all right so if you want to do it on a full like if you want to actually trace a full pattern out like i said you have to do some, get creative, get your tracing paper, tape it down, and then do your markings. So I'm going to be showing you guys on the half because it's easier to explain once you have it on the half because you're going to be cutting cutting all your fabrics on the half most likely anyway. So for me, if I wanted to do some sort of high waist bikini, I would make sure that I keep my paper down here at the bottom knowing that this is the line that I'm going to need for my seam no matter what. So I'm going to line it up with this and I'm going to pull it up here. Now, because we're going to be doing probably like more of a high waist style, I'm going to add another piece of tracing paper, okay? So I'm going to add another piece of tracing paper right on top, just a little bit on top, and then I'm just going to tape it, tape it down. So I'll take my tape and make sure that it's still lined up with the center and just give it a piece of tape just so that I know that these two pieces are together, right? You can use as much tape as you want. Now, this is lined up with the center front line and it's all the way down. I'm gonna put a weight right here because I'm not gonna be making any lines just yet down here. And I'm gonna be putting a weight right here so this doesn't move. So if I wanted a bikini bottom that was higher cut, more high cut than this, or if I wanted a bikini bottom that came down further, I can just use this as my guide, okay? So I'm going to take this here and, oops, let's slide this over. And I'm going to use the crotch line to draw up first. So I'm going to take this and I'm following my pattern underneath. Um, and then I don't want it to go over right directly on the hip. So I'm going to bring this pattern up a little bit. So I'm just going to keep on going in the style that I want. Just like that. So you can barely see it on camera. I'm gonna to try to draw it in darker. Okay, so that would be my line. As you can see, you can barely see it on camera, but right here in between these two spaces is the pattern underneath, right? That's the brown paper right here is underneath. So this is the original bikini line that they had. I brought mine up just a little bit higher up on the hip, on the waist, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to take this and draw whatever shape that I want. So if you want a standard, just straight across shape, you would take the line, 
go up however many inches you think you will want it. For me, I know that the waistline is curving in right here. So I'm going to bring mine up just a little bit on the waist, just like that. And then I'm going to bring it across. And mine's kind of slopes down just a little right here. I'm going to show you closer in a second. One second, you guys. And it slopes down so it'll have like a V in the middle. Um, not too low, but, you know, defined enough. I'm going to take that. And then this one I'm going to label size large. Front. Bikini. Just like that. And I'm going to put higher waist because it is a higher waistline. So, high waist. Alright, so when I take this off of here, I'm going to add them in another piece of tape. Okay, so... As you can see right now, I literally have a bikini bottom pattern just from using this on top. So you don't have to constantly reinvent the wheel trying to create your own patterns. You can use a basic bodice and create the shapes that you want and then test the shapes that you want on your sample fabrics and see how they look. And then you just keep on tweaking it from there. So this is just a basic bikini bottom right here. You have the waist, I mean the high cut right here. It goes all the way down to the crotch line and then it goes straight across to or go straight and has like a little slope down to make kind of a low V kind of a curvy um, middle line for like right under your belly button or your navel if that's what you call it and then um, I have the hip right here the waist line the hip line right here that is going to be the part that goes and holds the bikini up so you have this right here so for the back bodice block you would do the exact same thing but you would create the shape that you want on the back if you wanted a thong back you would bring it in closer to the center front and bring it down to the crotch line. But you would just do that on the back bodice block, if that makes sense. So all you do is take this, cut this out. All right, so as you can see here, guys, here's a bikini bottom pattern, just like that. Now for your top pieces, the tops can be a lot more difficult than the bottom, obviously. Um, the more intricate your design is, the more time you're going to be spending with this block and your tracing paper and stuff like that. Um, but the top, you can do anything from creating the shoulder lines, creating asymmetrical designs, um, measuring out the straps if you want to have your bikini top strap connect to the bikini bottom. You can measure that out on here. It, it's endless possibility. So let's just say you have a design ready. I'm going to tape these two pieces and don't throw away your scraps because they come in handy when you really need them. So I'm just going to tape this one down to the paper that we didn't cut from. Whoops. My nails. So I'm going to use this paper right here, right? So let's say I wanted a design that was a triangle top just to match the bottoms. This is just an example, you guys. I'm not going to do super detailed designs because it's going to be a long video. But you get I hope you understand what I'm saying about how you can use this to create whatever you want. Um, so you would take this here. And again, if you wanted to do two different styles, like you wanted like a triangle top over here that connected to a one shoulder over here, you would just create... Two separate patterns you'll create one for the right side and one for the left side and then you will combine them and you will see how it looks when you lay it flat and then you make sure all your seams and everything like that is connected so for this one knowing that this is the armpit you definitely don't want to start over here unless you have a design that's going across right from armpit to armpit like a bandeau top you know up here is the neckline your natural neckline so you don't want to design up here unless you are designing something that's closer to your neckline so the bust area or your breast line is typically even with your armpit line like with the armpit of the bodice it's typically just straight across everything even and centered you can look at your own body typically it would be very close to your armpit line depending i don't know 
where everyone's nipples sit, but typically it would be straight across like that. Okay, so you would take your um, tracing paper and you would start designing. Sorry about these lines, but this would typically be like your bandeau um, top right here. Mine has a curve higher. I don't know how well you can see that, but it has a curve. It goes straight and then it goes into a curve going toward the center front line because you want to be able to cover the breast area. The bottom is straight across because that's how I would like mine cut. And then the sides match the side seams for the bodice block. So this would be a half of your bandeau. So when you cut this like this, it'll open up obviously to the full size. And then you will mark cut two of these or you would mark cut one and then we'll cut one lining, however it is. But ultimately, you can use these blocks guys to literally create whatever type of bikini you want. So this, we just created super quick, less than like 15 minutes, a bottom pattern for a bottom pattern for a bikini and a top pattern cut it cut on the fold so super easy you can do this with a one piece you can do this with a tank bikini you can do this with a string bikini a thong bikini high waist bikini any type of swimsuit you want you can use this block and pretty much create your pattern you guys for the straps as well you can measure out how long the straps are from just one connection point to the next and you can add however many inches you need to be able to tie those straps if you want to tie the straps so that's literally it okay you guys so i just showed you guys how to use this pattern block that we created to make a full pattern block and how you can create your own swim pieces with this um, i'm going to just show you how this looks this is a size large keep in mind hold on let me get closer so this is a size large, right? And this is the neckline. So as you can see, when you lay this on me, and I am a size medium and large typically, so this is perfect. As you can see, just laying this flat on my body, just like this, it goes from exact point it's supposed to, to the end of the shoulder seam. So that's how the measurements work. When I pull it down even tighter, it goes from the top of my shoulder seam down to exactly where this seam starts on my shirt, okay? When I pull this, which you can't see in, from the camera, but when I pull this all the way down, it goes exactly where the crotch line is, where it's supposed to be, and it goes all the way down. So if you wanted to take your block in your own size, in your own measurement, all you would do is take this block, and you can see exactly how it's supposed to look. The bust line is literally right here where I marked it, where I, in between these two lines. It's exactly where I marked it. So this is the perfect example of a really good bodice block that you can use to create your own patterns so this would be a full bodysuit if i was to just cut this put this on top of some fabric and cut it it will be a full bodysuit now the reason why i showed you guys this pattern block is because it's for four-way stretch if you do this on a, if you use this pattern block on a non-stretch fabric it, your measurements are going to be completely off so make sure you're using a knitted stretch fabric some sort of stretch fabric and this is going to be perfect again everything is in the description box that you're going to need and i hope you guys like this let me know in the comment section um if you need more details about you know the patterns or what type of bathing suit that you're trying to do and you just don't quite understand and maybe i can do a full tutorial on a more detailed type of swimsuit just so you can see the possibilities a bit more but um make sure you guys hit the subscribe button please thank you and uh make sure you guys are following me on my social medias make sure you follow me on instagram especially you guys i'm growing my instagram account i'm trying to grow my instagram account i would love to see you guys there 
and engaging with me on other platforms as well. So thanks again for tuning into today's video and I will see you guys on the next one.